Okay, so today we will be having a look at the uh, Kiricom PT68M, which is a mid-band mobile radio. Um, yes, they sent us a sample of this radio, thank you guys, at uh, the local Kirisan agency. And yeah, obviously it's not a Kirisan radio, but a Kiricom, which means it's probably a rebranded device. There's a little booklet in color. We got a programming cable so we can just have a look at, at how it programs and what it does. Um, and yes, let's just dive into it. What else we get into in the box is the um, is like a little installation kit. A small little basic, can I call it flimsy bracket. Let's put the box that side. Look at the microphone. It says Kiricom on it. Okay. It has no positive click, which I don't like. Okay, and then you have a, a down and an up with a plastic uh, mic hook. Cable seems long enough with an RJ connector on the one side. Right, let's see what it looks like. What I can immediately see, which I possibly don't like, but I understand it for the cost implication, is the fact that there is a cable on the back that is not detachable. Okay, so there's no connector. Let's just unwind this and see how long it is. I can tell you this is very thin cable, not even 1.5 millimeter cable. It does have an inline fuse, plastic fuse, which I do not like, glass fuse type, so if it gets hot over time, it will melt. And then two solder points. I would say this is about, I don't know, one, maybe one and a half meters long, which is a problem to get through the firewall into the, um, <coughs> to the battery of a vehicle. Um, okay, it has a speaker output at the back, a PL259, and as you are, some of you are familiar with, the um, mid-band radios are 66 to 88 megs. Okay, we have some power on it, so let's put in the cable, and we switch it on. It says Kiricom on it, okay, channel 1 and 2, I... The, the, it switches off after a while, I don't, I don't know why. Channel 2 and 3 up and down. There is no indication of where the volume is. What I do like is the fact that it shows the supply voltage. Okay. So if you receive, it'll obviously have a green light. If you transmit, I assume it'll be red. Yes, I do like that. It is nice. It shows red on the display. Also, when you receive it, um, I like it. It looks quite nice. Okay, so what I don't like about it is the fact that you can switch between channel and frequency. I don't know about the legal implications of that. It seems like you have got a VFO mode, which it's 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 not it's not legal. Um, you can't have a a continuous VFO mode. Um, on a device so you can change the radio off the on the fly so I don't know I'll do some research on that but however it's just a point to show you what it looks like anyway guys I think uh, the, the audio is is fairly loud this is is metal um, most of it is metal um, the cover it feels like plastic and it is nice and small as you can see it fits inside my hand price wise I don't know how it will compare but um, there is no other devices available in this in this band in our country so there are still farmers and communities that actually work on this on this frequency there are a few shortcomings 
But I, in general, I do like the device.